Hey guys, Jamie back again with a cooking video along with my assistant, Hi. Delilah. <laughs> Alright, so what we're going to be making today, good, good shot. We're going to be making chili. Now, chili, everybody loves chili. Well, most people love chili. In this house, we love some chili. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so. This is also easy with kids, as long as you're there to help them. Um, her favorite thing to do is to pour the stuff in. So, this is what our ingredients are going to be. Tomato sauce, we have one can of dark red kidney beans, no salt added. Two light red kidney beans, no salt added. And a can of no salt added uh, pinto beans. And then we'll do our seasonings uh, measuring here. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to get my wonderful assistant here. And also, don't, don't, touch that. don't my kids, don't touch this part unless you know to do it right because it can't cut you. Now, I'm going to hand the can of tomato sauce to Delilah. And she's going to pour it in here easy so she don't make a mess. All right, there's one can. Now, what we're going to do is with one can, we always set it aside because we always add about a quarter can of water to it. But we're going to do four cans of tomato sauce. These are uh, 15 ounce cans, so a little under a pound of tomato sauce per can. So, All together, about 60 ounces of tomato sauce. Sorry, go ahead and put that one in the trash. I'll go ahead and add this one. Now, a lot of times I'll add the beans first just because that's my preference, but we're going in the order of the cans that are closest to us. So, now what we're going to do. Oh, Get a can of tomato paste out. Blah, 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 please. Put out the tomato paste. Um, now, you just need one can, a small, tiny can of tomato paste um, for the sole purpose of yeah. one can of tomato paste. No, no, no. Just tomato paste, baby. Oh. Yeah, the small can, the tiny can. Get our covers. Um, but also, you want to brown up. We already went ahead and browned up two and a half pounds of ground beef. It's 80 20. Um, we hadn't done that. Uh, and also, kids, when it comes to cooking the ground beef, let your parents do it. It is safer. Is this it? Um, yep, that is it. And then you get a six ounce, a little six ounce can of tomato paste. Um, now, one important thing is you always remember to have a can of um, You know, we have quite a few hand can openers. And we also have an electric can opener on top of the fridge up there. Alright. Put that back in. And you also want to have a chili spoon. So we got our chili spoon out. Now, what you do is you take the can. Remember, kids, be careful with the can lid. And you just scoop that on in there. Can you go get me the, the black pepper off the table, baby? Now, I'm going to have my lovely assistant put that much water in. Okay? She's going to add some water. Is that good? Uh, let's see. Yep. That's perfect. Then, also, what that does is let's get the stuff out of there. Alright. So now, we've got all that done. Huh? Now, it's time to add the beans. Mm -hmm. Now, like I said, we have two cans of light red kidney beans. Add those in. No, no, we don't add that. 
Sometimes some people do, some people don't. I always drain my beans that are in here that have the liquid in them. Just because there's a little something in them. I'll add it. Alright. That's First. a lot of ingredients. <laughs> I don't know. You know what? We, make the, we always make a big pot of chili because, well, we eat it with other stuff. Just you know, besides just chili. Okay, looks like our looks like our trash here. Hold that. Hold it. Looks like our trash bags getting full. Cool. Go ahead and finish adding these beans real quick. And then we'll get a rock and roll on adding the ingredients. Alright. Go ahead and put that in the trash and I'll wait on you. So while she's doing that, I'm just going to go ahead and give everything a quick little stir. Now some of the juices from the beans are in here, so that's why it looks kind of bubbly. But that's okay. That happens. Yeah, because I put most of the beans out. <laughs> okay, so with this, I want to add some pepper. Uh, us, we don't we like some pepper. So you're looking at maybe like a half teaspoon, maybe half a full tablespoon. Okay, next is we do paprika. Okay. Now with the paprika, you don't need a lot of it, it goes one way. We're going to do as much. Um, let's see, where's, that, where's your little tiny spoon at in there? Let me find it. I think it's that little bit. Yeah. Yep. Okay, we're going to do one fourth teaspoon. Go ahead and close the door. Okay. Alright, we do one fourth teaspoon of paprika. This is Spanish style paprika. Close that. Set it to the side. Now we do onion powder. Now the onion powder we do half a teaspoon. Do half a teaspoon of onion powder. Close that. Now you got your chili powder. Now the chili powder also goes a long way. That's how get it open right now. We'll do half a tablespoon of, of the chili powder. Yeah, because we use it. Right, we'll do half a tablespoon or a teaspoon of chili powder. Now we do we're gonna take the lid off for of this one. Now hold the lid. Italian seasoning. We'll do a full Tablespoon. Do a full tablespoon. Good. Thank you, dear. <laughs> Thank you, Vanna. <laughs> Don't call me that. <laughs> and then garlic powder. Now we love us some garlic powder here. We don't need that. Don't need that. No, no. That's not baby. Yeah, I just now I don't powder? use I don't use a lot of garlic powder. Um so we're gonna do about a half a tablespoon. It looks good so far. All right, we'll do a half a tablespoon. Now, here's my secret ingredient. Give me the sugar. Okay, where's the sugar? Right there. Oh, okay. uh, it might be empty. There you go. Is the sugar? Yeah, it's sugar. Okay. Hold on, let me try. Move out of the way. Yeah, it's sugar. Now, you don't add a lot of sugar. You just... Make it sweet. Well, not it takes out the acidity of that the tomatoes. Yeah. All right now, as we do this, we like to clean up. So, put those in the sink, dear. Okay. Okay. And also, dirty spoon in the sink as well. Okay. Thank then you what you do? Huh? Thank you for filming this video. Oh, you're welcome. Come on. Get in here. Get in here. Then what you do is you want to mix up your spices. Stir in your spices really good. Stir in. We stir and we stir and we stir and we stir. And we stir. <laughs> then 
Make sure you go around the edge of this a little bit. Now we got it done. Take the test. Take the pinky. What do you think? Take your pinky. There. Mm. Good? Mm -hmm. Need to add anything? Well, probably a little bit more sugar or something. Then a little bit more sugar? Mm -hmm. Right here. Sugar? This is my cooking helper. She helps me cook almost every meal. Mm -hmm. But not cook. Well, Bubby helps too. Not as much as you do. How do you guys? Okay. And we got a little clump of season there. Look at that. So, then we need to do a light stir. Alright. Now, here comes the next part. Now, kids, if you're watching this with your parents and you're cooking with your parents, a lot of times, let your parents do this part because it's hot. It's hot. Exactly. Exactly. So what you want to do is you don't want to turn it on high. You want it about a medium. So turn it to about five. Okay? You know, five. Yeah. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take our ground beef out of the pot, put it in here. But we're not going to just dump it because there is a little bit of grease. So you get a spoon, a slotted spoon. Yeah, with holes. He's a slotted spoon with holes. <laughs> and then what you do is you scoop. You let it drain a little bit. You see that there? Mm -hmm. That's the fat. Now, we now, a lot of times it is best to just strain it, but our strainer um, is kind of big, so we would end up losing some. So, so we have to use a spoon. Yeah. So what we do, then we take it, transfer it over into the chili sauce. And this How is per. I make chili. I've been making chili for quite a while. Alright. Now, where it is later in the day, this is completely brown ground beef. Mm -hmm. um, usually, uh, sometimes I'll make chili with canned chicken or cooked chicken breast or turkey. A lot of times our chili is with ground beef. Um, you know, a lot of times if you just want to brown it up and so fully cook it, um, you can brown it up for about five minutes and then put it in a crock pot all day on high and then turn on low about two, three hours before. But where this is later in the day and we're going to let it cook on medium heat for about uh, three or four hours. Uh, <coughs> go ahead and finish that this real quick. Okay. Yeah, my Delala Del here, she will actually help me cook almost everything. She helps me cook eggs. She's a great egg cracker. Mm -hmm. She knows how to do that very well. Yeah, because we crack them on the counter. Yep. Maybe we'll do a breakfast video one day. But, uh, so what we do is we just keep adding our ground beef. to make a chili video. Yep. I made a pizza video earlier, and I was like, you know what? I'll make a chili video. Too. Might as well. Might as well. All right. You're a crazy guy. <laughs> now, the reason why I said you may want to have, have kids when well, you want to let your parents do this because it can still be hot. Um, you don't want to get burned. Um, your parents are more adapt to how to get stuff out without burning themselves. Um, you burn so, yourself a couple times. Yeah. I burnt myself a few times. But I'd rather myself get burnt than this lot. Okay, so we got all that. No. You're going to put this in the sink. You got to let it cool off. You don't put hot grease in the sink. Okay. Then you take a chili spoon. Now, since everything is in the pot, oh, let's see. Let's get the. See? Now, it does look like a lot because it's not put down in there yet. Then you fold it. You fold, fold. See? And we do, we make, I make a pretty hearty chili, um, like I said, because we use it um, throughout the week. We don't eat all this in one night, obviously. Um, you figure, look at me, I probably do, but I don't. Uh, so now what we're gonna do, we'll add a little bit more pepper. 
And a little bit more pepper. A little bit more pepper. I'm right here. I'm right here, I'll see you. All right. So, all right, now that we got this nice and stirred up now. All right, next thing on the list is uh, hand me the lid there, baby. Okay. And get you a lid. And ta da. My light. And that's it, you guys. Um, so that's going to be our hearty chili. Um, and this, it is good for dip and stuff like that. So. Thank you for joining us while we're making some delicious chili. <laughs> My name is Jamie, and this is... <laughs> and want to thank you once again for joining me on my journey um, you know to get my life back on track this is one of the big reasons why I'm doing it right here um, as well as the big boy upstairs uh, who is too too cool to be in a video and then my wife um, Robin who's in the living room watching Big Bang Theory um, but you know we look forward to making more cooking videos for you guys maybe do a breakfast one um, what do you think? Make a breakfast one soon? Show you how to make a good, healthy breakfast. Um, but, you know, I greatly appreciate your your time to sit here and watch this. Remember, kids, cooking is fun. You can do it with your parents as long as it is safe, as long as you take the safety precautions. As you saw, she was nowhere near the stove at all at any time. Anything sharp or anything like that, I dealt with. Make sure you let your parents do that. Um, but other than that, uh, once again, like I said, my name is Jamie. This is Delilah. This is Delilah. Or as we call her, uh, Stinky. <laughs> but thank you once again for following me on my journey. Continue following it. Um, and more videos are come. So see you once again on the next leg. Until then. Bye. Bye.